Hello, 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 Zach from Composition Critiques here, and welcome to Across the Musical Globe, where we take a look at songs made in foreign countries, regardless of the language barrier. Today, we get to travel to the Philippines, where we analyze the SB19 song, Bazinga. Let's explore. This song came from their first EP, Paxable, which literally translates to Germination, and the tune was released as a single in October of 2021. It peaked at number one on a Billboard Hot Trending Songs chart and won Best Pop Recording and Best Dance Recording at last year's Await Awards. Plus, it won the award for the Wish Exclusive Pop Performance of the Year at this year's Wish 1075 Music Awards. It definitely deserved the accolades and recognition they deserve because this is a certified bop. Produced by Simon Servita and one of the band members, Pablo, this track is a K-pop inspired banger filled with high tension and satisfying release all around. In terms of the pre-courses, they have cymbal guitar strumming, a ticking clock sample, liquid hand claps, and an ascending yet glitchy synth horn in order to hype up the listeners. By the time the chorus is hit, the slow trap beats with the deep synth tones makes the audience bob their heads in excitement. The trap percussion continues to be present within the verses and the bridge, but the differences between them are that the former beats are evenly spaced out and are accompanied by light synth tones and faint whistles, while the latter beats are a little more cluttered and are paired with warbling sound effects. Next, we have the diverse vocals from all five members, as they all contribute in their own unique way. Stella and Justin's singing in the pre-choruses are magnificent. Josh and Pablo's rap verses are loud and in your face like Eminem. And Ken's delivery in the bridge is very ominous, based on his low register singing and his abrasive ad-libs, like shut up and don't forget. Meanwhile, they all take turns rapping the choruses and post-choruses in order to showcase their personalities while informing the audience that they can't be messed with. Like supervillains, they just finished their self-discovering journey. Lastly, we have the lyrics that served as a response to the online haters throughout the band's career and as a wake-up call that enabled the group to focus more on meaningful expressions of art and music, which is something I highly respect. Plus, they made interesting allusions to Bruce Lee in the chorus, Cinderella's fairy godmother in the first verse, and Mortal Kombat in the outro. I hope you enjoyed this adventure. Please make sure to like and share this video, leave a comment, and follow me on this platform. Thank you.